Isn't the Grammys like a week or two apart from the Super Bowl too? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's in February this year. It's usually in January, mm. but it's he February 2025. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, know yeah. he is going to like stomp on Drake's grave. <laughs> That's about to line like, up. It's so crazy because he doesn't have to say anything for the next few weeks, months, or whatever. But there's a quiet storm just brewing. <laughs> that is 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 un is inevitable yeah. that something is going to re. Capture, reignite that, reignite something within that. Like it's not moment. over. Like it, it, it can't be over because I'm on. I'm, I'm performing at the Super Bowl and I'm nominated for every Grammy for every disc. He hey. didn't put out an album. Do we realize we're talking about his Grammy nominations yeah. strictly for him dissing Drake? Straight off diss tracks. So <laughs> it can't die down, right? Like it's not even like you could bury it in. Oh, this was a phenomenal album and it just had this song. Like no. Every diss that I put out to this light skin motherfucker <laughs> is what we're going to highlight. Whether I win or lose, it, it's just not going to go away for at least, you know, February, March. Yeah, it was no, a legendary I, time. But it's not going to end because Kendrick is also definitely dropping a project next year. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to keep going. And we love it because then we have more to talk about on Need to Know Podcast. Get up! Get up! <laughs> get, get, get up! Get up! Get up. Get, <laughs> And guess, guess what, folks? If you guys think Not Like Us isn't going to be played on that Super Bowl stage, oh my woo, goodness. I don't know. You are in, well, Pierre, you are in for a rude know. awakening. You don't think it's going to be played, Pierre? If, 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 they don't, if they don't play it, they'll play a certain variation of it. Oh, they playing it, for sure. You know, I don't know if you can get off the pedo stuff on a oh, national stage. You remix like it. But oh, the yeah, song itself will get played. Yeah, he won't. He won't rap those parts. But yeah. they're gonna find some way to. Yeah, you like can't I said, say uh, like certified pedophile. You gotta say certified little girl lover. No, you can't. No, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. It's too, it's too, <laughs> I get it all. No, so that's what you do. You when you know it's coming up, you just let the crowd say. You go. So, uh, uh, you let the crowd You gotta become like a that real mean, MC. Yeah, yeah. You put the mic in the house saying right? yo. Yo, yeah. you just gotta put the mic That's out and let do. them say yo. That's, yes, so it's like certified lover boy, certified uh, yeah, and then get it. And they gonna right, do it. Do it. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, when he ran yeah. it back at the pop out show, right? Yeah. About mm -hmm. five, six, seven times. Yeah, <laughs> that pop out show really did something. Yeah, dr oh yeah, uh, man, it's tough. It's tough. You yeah. think he watches the Super Bowl, Drake? Um, I mean, even if you don't watch it, you're gonna see it. <laughs> you gonna see it. Though. Drake is on social media, just like the rest of us. Yeah. Um, it, you can't avoid it. Like yeah. when you're in that spotlight, when you're in that position, what you watch, like see unless he's just really not a football fan, I can't imagine him not watching it. But the Super Bowl is like a holiday. Drake, he doesn't strike me as somebody who's gonna like not be around people during the Super Bowl. I don't know. That has to be very awkward for him in his camp, knowing that. Yo, there's a big chance that this diss song is going to come on on the most watched <laughs> televised program <laughs> of the year. And, like, this is it. This etches this diss song in, in stone. Like, even back to back, as great as it was for that time period, people only talk about back to back when we talk about beefs and hip hop. Yeah. Right? Like, nobody's just like, oh, shit, y'all, like, let's bump that back to back. Or let's, let's, like, <laughs> there's right. nothing that really keeps that in. Rotation. This moment of time. Mm -hmm. Unless you're talking about beef, something like that. A this. Super Bowl performance, we still talk about Prince mm -hmm. and Beyonce and Janet Jackson, mm -hmm. Justin Timberlake, and uh, I know Katy Perry was a little bit unforgettable, but etched in history. There's a th this will etch it in a different type of way, mm -hmm. put it a different type of spotlight on it. So if you're Drake, Ooh. you gotta get up, <laughs> fight back, get up. Situate I do want him. Hey, I do want him to do. And something, the great words though. of Meek Mill. I will say this though. Whenever that party next door Drake album is coming, I don't I don't think it's gonna wash uh, people's mouths out from the taste they have about the rat beef or how they're perceiving him. But what I will say is that I I'm pretty confident that there is very good music on there, and it will do pretty its thing it because will. it's yes. gonna hit a certain demographic mm, that does not mm. give a fuck about the beef, and that is the baddies. Yeah. And For we're sure. going to run that shit to the ground. It's going to go viral. <laughs> All the songs are going to go viral on TikTok. So the girl's getting ready, For looking sure. sexy. It's going to do its thing. So That combo right there? No. I think it's too late. When Personally. I, I, when you say too late, you mean like how people are going to view him in general? Yeah, man. No, not, not but, just him. What do you mean? I yeah. think even Party Next Door's music has kind of been lackluster. It kind of came and went. I don't think people care about that because I don't think what you're saying is invalid. Uh -huh. I'm just saying the the combination of Party Next Door and Drake is powerful. It's very powerful. It's very powerful. It's just, 
Yes, Savon. yes, it is. Okay, yes, it is. I, I'm, I'm, you know that. No, you, I could be we, wrong. That's our era. <laughs> no, it is. That's I, us. I know, but yeah. does it have lasting power? Like, nah. is it, oh, it was a moment what, in time. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, okay, I see did, what you're did they miss the window of doing that? Nah. Because if they did this five years ago, six, seven years ago, I think it just because of who they were in those moments. Mm-hmm. And again, don't get it fucked up. Like, it's still Drake and Party Next Door. Yeah. Some, something off of that is going to be fire in my rotation, it's in my ring off. Like, yeah, it's like, I'm not <laughs> doubting it, but yeah. I'm just saying, the way that music is, the position that Drake is in right now, and even Party Next Door, like, I wouldn't put him as one of the leading R&B guys today. I agree with that. But you ever seen Dragon Ball Z when Vegeta and Goku fuse together? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go and turn into Gogeta? Uh-huh. That's what's gonna happen, y'all. <laughs> I All hope right. so. All right, we'll yeah, see. That's I my favorite so type of music. Yeah, me too. I yeah. hope so too. Me too. We'll I see what 